Hey, I'm Ralph with the Road .com. I'm going to show you how to play Cantaloupe, the first book, Breaking Into Prison. Now, all I'm going to do is go through the tutorial. I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'm going to make this as quick as possible. So let's go. So if, in case you didn't know, Cantaloupe, the playable thriller, is an interactive adventure. It mimics a point-and-click game that you got in the video games like Broken Sword, which is my favourite. For example, so remember to move the mouse and point and click on the subscribe button. I'll just get that in before we go. Let's get into the book. Okay, on the inside cover you get these three little pockets that hold the cards. I'm not going to show them. I'm just going to show you what they look like on the back there. I'm going to ignore what that is because that's part of the game. But I'm going to go through what these things are because those are covered in the tutorial. And the game works around encrypted text that you read with this red filter. For example, you've got this paragraph here that shows you the example of how it works. And you just put it over and you can see it now says easy as Pie, basically. Good, continue with the tutorial. You also get to use some item cards. So here you can see in the tutorial it says get cards 12 and 38. Here is 12 and 38, which are the cell phone and the magnifying glass. And we'll see how to use those in a bit, but the next part of the tutorial covers interacting with simple objects. You can see here that you're looking in the rear view mirror of your car and it says X5, Z2. So then you've got the two options here, which will be on the page in the book as you're playing. And you put the one over X, uh, 5 Z2, that's the correct one, it'll tell you what you need to do. And this, this tutorials are great because if you do put it on the wrong one, it will let you know why you're wrong. And it also gives you an example of how you use your item. So you can see your magnifying glass item allows you to inspect, talk and use. That's quite important. It's not just for looking at things, it's also for talking to things and using things. What you do is you put them so that they, they level with the item you're looking at. In this tutorial here, you're looking at your cigarette lighter of your car and you line them up. Like this, you can see that is now R5, P5. And you can see here R5, P5. You'll cover that over and you'll get to inspect the cigarette lighter. And what they've done here is they've made it so that if you put the arrow to the arrow, which you're not supposed to do, it will show you X1, V4. And you can put that over the top and it will tell you why you're wrong. Very good tutorial. You can also combine items. You can see that the magnifying glass has this down one side. Cell phone has both sides. So if you combine these two together, you see the arrows are pointed at H7, P5. So you'd read that passage in the book, which is here. But if it's not in the book, you have this separate sheet called the inventory. And this tells you all the different things. And it is double-sided. There is a lot of things for you to get through here. So the magnifying glass has only got this on one side. So you know it needs to go to the right of a card if you want to inspect it. But if you have two cards you want to combine, say you want to combine this business card with the phone, you will put the one with the lowest number. So the business card is double zero, the phone is 12, so the lowest number goes to the left, that goes to the right, and you'll see that is now I8G2, which is there, and you'll cover that and you get to read it, and it'll tell you what to do. The next part of the tutorial is all about triggers, it's on this separate card here, and what you do is it'll tell you when to cross something off and then it'll say if you've got this one crossed off then do that. So the example of that here in the book is there it says cross off A1 in the trigger sheet then read B O B4 which is there will be 0 B4. This says if C5 read J8 H5 if A1 read X3 H3 otherwise the phone rings and rings and nothing happens. But because you have crossed off A1 you then read X3 H3 and it'll tell you what happens there then you can continue with the tutorial. And there's also an example here of what happens. You're going to be sometimes solving puzzles in order to get the codes to read them. So just there's that to do as well in the game. And then a lot of the game is done through dialogue with characters as well, which is all very funny. So there you go. In Cantaloupe, you're going to be going to different locations, seeing different things, talking to different people, solving some puzzles, using your decoder to check out all the different things you can do and continue your adventure from there. So I hope if you don't know how the game plays, that's basically it. There are anything else I'll tell you will be a small spoiler. So hopefully you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter, Insta, Twitch and YouTube at Just the Rogue. You can subscribe up there. There's a video for you there to watch. This has been as quick as it could possibly be. This is great. And I'll see you later.